Hi everybody, it's Candy! But today I am the Queen of Hearts! This is the look from Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland, my take on the Queen of Hearts. She doesn't have any eyebrows, as you can see, and we've done some very special tricks to get rid of the eyebrows. This eye, as you can see, has been done with a magical glue stick trick, which I will show you later. We have red glitter lips, which is a little hardish touch, it's different from the movie one. I hope you like it, this was so fun, I love the costume series. I'm also going to be doing a more sexy version of the Queen of Hearts, maybe not the blue high eyebrows if you don't feel that's so attractive. I have glued lashes on the tops and bottoms. And other than that, there's white face paint, and you may stay tuned to watch the rest, if you will. Off with your heads! And I made this little hat all myself. Uh, do you play croquet? If you will notice the absence of the eyebrows. This one was with Elmer's glue, Elmer's glue stick, and this was with spirit gum. I will tell you, I... I'm in favor of the Elmer's glue eye. It totally sealed it over. I think it's going to come off really easily because it's water-based. Spirit gum, I don't know. Now I'm going to have to use a spirit gum remover. I like this look a lot. It's real fun. I should go out to the store like this. Especially with the little crown I made. Off with my wig. Hi, guys. So I'm going to show you... Two ways to conceal eyebrows. One way is with any ordinary glue stick that you have lying around home. You can, everybody probably has this. You can do this fairly easily at home. Another way is if you get your hands on some spirit gum. And um, spirit gum is used to glue prosthetics and pieces like that on for, you know, special effects makeup. You guys can get this pretty much anywhere around Halloween time because they have it at all kinds of costume shops. Um, or you can get it online at a professional makeup place like namies.com. So I'm going to show you both ways how we're going to get started. So the first way you're going to get your glue stick and we're just going to kind of wiggle it, kind of go back and forth, get all the hair coated and then smooth it back that way. Then I'll take my finger and kind of press it and pat it down. You can kind of press it into shape. So this is pretty easy. We're going to go get another layer on and it gets pretty sticky and pretty thick feeling and we're going to go on top. And just kind of press and pat. Okay, so we're putting another layer of glue. The glue is a lot thicker and it's not as clean as the spirit gum. But again, you can take your finger and kind of roll it along. Help smooth it out. Because you don't really want, you can just roll this glue off of your eyelid. Now we're really going to get serious. Take a butter knife or a spatula and we're going to scrape a little bit of the wax on top. Let's see if we can get him on here like this. And we're really going to kind of spackle this on here because we want it really smooth and when you just coat it on the hairs it's just kind of making a mess. We're going to make this really heavy. So just push down and work it smoothly on the top, kind of like you're icing a cake. And we're going to hope that this is going to come out really nice. I'm not really sure how this is going to work. We will see. This would peek up here really well. You will just notice it's going to feel really goopy. And get here really well. And now we'll let this dry. I might even hit him with the blow dryer because he looks like he needs some help. Okay, now that our eyebrows are sort of concealed, we want to go over them with concealer. So I'm going to take my Lee Swatia Color Wheel. You can get this at Namie's too. I'm going to take it in a little bit of green to cover these guys up. And I'm just going to kind of spackle over this. This is the true definition of spackling your face with face makeup. And we want to make it as smooth as possible. And this is the glue eye and you know what? He's really not that bad. So that looks really weird. This is not the look we're going Now we're going to take a warmer color and go over it. Since we're going to do a white face, I'm going to get a little bit of the lavender and maybe some of the lightest skin color. And I'm just going to 
kind of blend over it. Now we're going to powder those bad boys. Now we're going to put white all over our face. baby powder and a good old fan brush. Now we're going to take our blue. These are the Makeup Forever palette and I'm going to take this light tealy blue and we're going to paint this all over the lid. I'm going to take my wedge sponge and powder. This is a sky blue powder from MAC. I don't know the name because it's worn off the label. But you're just going to get on your sponge. And this works a lot better than brushing because your brush is going to get all goopy. And this is kind of like powdering your face anyway. So you're just going to take this and you're going to dab the light blue over the turquoise. And you might want to turn the side of your sponge so you don't get that cream or oil um, pigment from the eyes into your eyeshadow. It'll kind of change the composition of it too. A horrible putty mess. So we're just going to tap this down. And the edges work really good for getting these lines really defined right there. You can just follow the same lines that you that you created with your brush. It's hard to see this side a little bit. And clean up that edge too. So now that he's all powdered, and it's so weird we don't have eyebrows. Weird. I always wanted blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you like my blue eye shadow? <laughs> now to put our eyebrows on, I'm gonna use the velvet liner by Miji Cosmetics. It's just a felt brush. And her eyebrows, I, I kind of brace my fit my face. Let's use this as a fulcrum, your drawing point against your face so it doesn't move. And then I'm going to start right here at the center and can't talk while I do this. Now we're going to line the eyes. We're going to go right above the eye. So I'm going to line the eye with a cream black liner. This is Black Black by the Chroma Line from MAC with an angled brush. And I'm just going to go right along the lash line. This is going to help hide our uh, lashes that are going to glue on. And then I'm also going to go right up under The wash line here.
Now we're ready for lashes. So you can watch my video on how to glue um, false eyelashes on curler, mascara, glue lashes, more mascara. You can watch the video. So before we put our lashes on, I'm going to put some white on the inner rims of the eyes. And that's just going to brighten it up and really kind of accentuate the, um, the false lashes that we have on. You can kind of clean off the rim of your eye. Make sure you, that your hands are clean. And now we're ready for gluing. So for the bottoms, I'm going to use these little really spaced out ones. Can you see that? These are 104s. I don't know where you get these, but I'm going to glue these thin spacey ones on the bottom. Oh, I forgot to mention, you're going to glue these bottom ones upside down. Instead of how you normally glue the lashes curling up, you're going to put them going downwards like... You'd normally glue them on your eyelash so they curled outwards. We're going to turn them around so that they're going to be curling downwards like that. Take your toothpick and thin some of this. Spread the glue love around. And make sure that the inner, the thin, shorter guys start towards the inner corner and they get thicker on the outside. Oops. Just going to wiggle him and go right underneath my lashes. And there's one. Now here comes the fun part. We have our eyelashes on, our tops and bottoms. And I'm going to take my black liner and I'm going to give myself the little beauty mark that she has. So just set your pencil down and twist it a little. And you can kind of just make it whatever size you want. I'm going to leave mine fairly small. I don't want it too big, just a little, a little something. Now the lips. You can use any kind of red lip gloss or lipstick. I'm going to draw the heart on the mouth. This is Ruby Woo, which is a very matte red. It has clay in it, so it won't smear. And you want something that's really going to stay on so you don't smear your mouth all night long. So I am going to... I'm looking at the picture, I'm using my brush, and I'm gonna duplicate her, her heart mouth. Let me go look one more time. Okay, I think I've got it. So we're gonna get both sides coated really well, and we're just gonna draw the heart. Okay, and for some extra dazzle, I'm going to put, this is from Fake Stockholm, it's some red glitter. I'm going to put it on the outer edges of the mouth because I don't want to really eat any. So here's our Queen of Hearts. I will go and get the wig and we will see what it looks like. So there is your Queen of Hearts look. I hope you like it. Go to my blog for more details and pics. And post below, guys. Post your comments of other looks you want to see for costume looks. And I will try to get to work on them right away. Because I love this costume look. It's so much fun. This is the area of makeup I totally love because it's so artsy. And you can't mess up. Your version is your own version. And um, don't be afraid. It's just fun. And you can just erase it and go back over if you make a mistake. So have a fun day, guys. I hope you like this look. Now off with this computer screen video. So for my little crown, I just cut a strip of wallpaper out and then I just kind of curled the edges like that so it would look a little quirky. Oh, you can see my tape. You're not supposed to see the tape. <laughs> mm, I kind of want to do this with my eyes all the time and I don't know why. Off with my head. Off with my head. 
I am back and may I mention that my beloved blog followers get a sneak peek at the next look that I will be doing before it's posted. So I love you all you blog family. You guys are awesome. Thanks for all your nice comments. Have a great day guys. I hope you like this video. Please leave me many a star for watching, a nice comment, and um, you can favorite me or pass it on. And subscribe for more looks like this. Now off with your video. We're painting the roses red. We dare not stop or waste a drop, so let the paint be spread. We're painting the roses red. We're painting the roses red. Oh, I ain't got no eyebrows. No eyebrows. No eyebrows. No eyebrows are on my face. Look, I made a little hat. Without my wig, I look like a pantomime.